So science can be frightening because some of the tools at first glance seem hard, uh, seem dis difficult to grasp, seem like an impediment, a hurdle that they don't, you know, I don't want to do that much work to figure out all this stuff just to be able to go after what I want. And, and I think sometimes that's more perception than reality. There is no person with a math brain, I don't think. I think there's people that look at, first glance, elegant mathematics and say, I don't care. I'd rather, you know, do something else. And that's fine. And some people decide they don't want to dance 12 hours a day to be in the ballet. That's fine too. I look awful in tights. I would rather not. But, you know, God love the people that do. So um, I think it's getting over that initial perception of challenge. Yes, some people have an ability, the way their brains are wired, you know, neurology, psychology, to grasp concepts as presented in different ways faster. Some people run faster. You know, it's, it's, it's that. I think with um, appropriate presentation, um, exercising in the right way, to keep it at a level that isn't inaccessible can bring many of the tools of science, especially aspects of mathematics, into grasp. I mean, I get giddy over high math and because I see it as a tool. And the funny symbols, who cares? They're a tool to express stuff that would be too hard to write down otherwise. I love infinite series. I don't have to write an infinite number of terms. I can't. But, you know, and it allows me to do stuff. Um, you know, that's, that's the beauty of it. I think many people see math as irrelevant to life. And I look at my cell phone and say, boy, if it weren't for math, I wouldn't have it working the way it does. And programming and what? And so one has to see the value. Anyway, often some of the tools of science are at first grasp, at first glance, inaccessible, confusing, bizarre, not exciting, whatever factor you like. But I think they can be illuminated and come alive with appropriate presentation and exposure like anything. Some people don't like modern art. They look at abstract and surrealism and they go, oh, I don't really want to see that. It's kind of scary. And others love it. And, you know, it takes exposure and training. Um, and I think that's the way the tools of science work, personally. And nowadays, the value, the advantage is there's lots of, lots of ways, lots of tricks or approaches to show people the value and the approach. I mean, the web is an amazing tool. And, you know, teachers are an amazing asset and tools as well. Um, so don't give up. I know it can be scary. We are all able to do any math we want. 